Hello and welcome to another Retro Gaming Junction live show where we're playing all sorts of freaking old games and uh, continuing our alien game saga. This is Alien vs Predator on the arcade. There was another Alien vs Predator game that came out on the SNES and it's pretty bad. <laughs> this one is much better. This is a... Um... A beat-em-up game? It's not a side-scroller, like pretty much all the other games I played, it's like the uh, Alien with the gun. It's time to hunt. Insert coin. Oh yes, there you go. Time to hunt. <laughs> Come with me if you want to live. Okay, so. Um, I just wanted to play a couple of... I'm gonna play all of the characters because they're all pretty much different. I'm gonna take uh, D. Schaefer. Schaefer. When I was young it was Arnold. I'm gonna play Arnold! Oh. And this guy doesn't jump. It's pretty weird. You can shoot. There's a shoot button, a jump button and a attack button. And you can play up to, tr to three players in this game, which is pretty nice. I thought it was only two players. I think it depended on the uh, on the arcade because I s I can set up this game as two or three players. It looks like he says, "Fuck." Fuck. You got Super Magazine. Why does it say demonstration? This is clearly not. Oh, oh shit, I. I skipped the. If you just touch a, a control, it, it like really goes fast forward. Hey, Igor! Yeah, there's, there's no re-release of this game, right? It's not on any compilation or anything. The only way to play it is with your original arcade or, or like main or something like that. There's no official release, I think. Fuck! Fuck! I wasn't it at all. I didn't lose one inch of life for all this level. I'm pretty good. No, I'm not that good. I guess I'm good with that guy, I don't know. Thank God for Mondays. <laughs> You can escape from the city, keep an eye out for the stop by slide bags. Like they're talking to the predators. <laughs> what the they're dropping down on us. As much as I like the alien alien and predator settings together, uh, this is not my preferred like um, I haven't read any of the comics or anything, so. But I think this is kind of um, from the comics. Whoa. Well, 
kind of more comic book-like thingies, or almost superhero kind of thing. I, I don't know, I'm just talking out of my ass right now. But that's what, that's what I figured. But my vision of the uh, Alien and Predator is pretty much the first and second Alien vs Predator game on the PC, where the Predators are aliens, I mean, they don't... <laughs> They don't make friends with any humans, they don't care about humans, they don't give a shit. We're fucking in their way, that's what we are. <laughs> that's how I see it, but whatever. Any interpretation is good. I'm not a fan of the, of the movies either. Oh, I'm gonna die soon. Is that big box ox dude Dutch? He is the uh, shaf major sha the Schaefer so is it Dutch Dutch is his last name I think it's something Dutch I'm I'm not entirely sure about that Whoa 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 our demonstration is like you can't do anything I wanted to pick up those uh, Dungeon and Dragons gems there. As soon as I die, I'm gonna switch uh, characters. Gonna go with the with the girl. She's really quick. I like it just because of that. I like quick characters when I play uh, beat 'em ups. That that might be why I'm so bad at it. <laughs> Maybe big characters is the way to go. I don't know. This is pretty easy. I didn't touch the difficulty, I let it on normal. Oh. If you don't know when you play a, an arcade game, you can usually uh, put it on uh, on any difficulty, uh, free play, number of lives. Um, I could have put six, six lives, but I wanted to put just two, since I want to switch characters often. And right now, I'm not switching as often as I want to. I'm still with Arnold. Royal Guard. <laughs> Dungeon and Dragons beat em ups are only for PS3 to 60. Oh, no, no, no. Um, I got it on Steam. Uh, Tower of uh, Mistara or something like that. There's two games, and um, they're available on Steam. But on consoles, maybe. I don't know, I'm... Like, if you're talking any consoles past Xbox One and PlayStation 2, including those, kinda, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, the last console generation I own is... Well, it's the Wii, but... I like to say it's the SNES, I just bought a Wii because it was really cheap. And I knew I could play a couple of games on it. But I'm not interested in the new consoles at all. Oh! I'm gonna continue. Put some quarters in, continue. And I'm gonna take the girl. <laughs> ah, yeah, I can shoot, I don't. Don't use that as a as much a, as I should. There's a power meter, I think, and can overeat something like that. I really prefer the predator. When I'm gonna switch to the predator, I'm gonna stay with the predator. I don't like playing. She usually gets a sword out. I think it's after a couple of yeah like that. I think her thing is her sword is powerful, but you have to get to it. So she does a couple of punches, kick, and then the sword. So if you get to the sword, it's, it'll be powerful. But you have to go through all the combos. I think. I know nothing about this game. <laughs> I just played a couple of times on the arcade years ago. I don't think I've beat it ever. Three. 
I wonder if depending who you're controlling. Oh, now everything is shooting now. Every button is shooting, it seems. Yeah, every button is shooting. Nice. Okay. Oh, I like it when they do a, a change up like this. I'm gonna try to do a little more arcade games on the channel. I like it because. Oh my god, fuck that. I had to beat a couple of them? What? Oh! What's that? That, that reminds me of something. The whoa! Like an act raiser? <laughs> I have to say that for a Capcom game, the music is just meh. They really phoned it in. It's listen to this. It's just it's it's nothing. <laughs> if it doesn't strike you, usually that's what I say. Especially for arcade games, if the music doesn't strike you, it's shit. <laughs> Not that it's not, it's not easy to do um, good music, but if you really notice it, uh, most soundtracks of good games are, are really good. The soundtracks is, is a, it's kind of a top priority. I don't know how, I don't know if it's a top priority or I'm just maybe not uh, too difficult on them. I really like retro music, but this is... Meh. I even say this is pretty shit. Like I would never hum that music while doing the dishes or anything. <laughs> and almost every retro game I play, I will like hum the music uh, in my head a couple of days after I, I played it. It's pretty weird. <laughs> even games I don't like, or I just played a couple of, of minutes. Ah. Like I will never remember the music of this game. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I should use my my gun. Oh, she has to reload her gun, that's the thing. What? Oh, I get it. When I get the gun, I have to use the... Yeah, you stupid... No, it doesn't work. Oh, now it works. It's the sound of the rifle and the aliens. I think I lost the connection to the stream a couple of minutes ago. I hope it reconnected. And that is why I record and re upload everything. There's a bunch of reasons I do that, but that's one of the reasons. This game is fucking awesome. This is my, one of my favorite beat em ups. I don't like beat em ups, by the way. <laughs> and it's just not it's not because of the like alien predator settings. It's a good game. Uh yeah, this one. This is a classic predator. They all have weapons. I may become Demonstration, I'm not touching anything. Well, the guy that um, designed uh, H HG Jiger or something like that, um, he designed like all the xenomorph, the, the walls and aliens, uh, the alien and alien, the eggs, um, like the astronaut that 
all that things. The, all the design uh, of Alien, the first one, and I, I, I guess most of the second one, and pretty much everything after that, because people would use those, those design, design to uh, continue the franchise and everything. I think so. Yeah, well, well, I mean, I'm not, I'm not super familiar with Lovecraft, but I don't know, because <laughs> Lovecraft is really like, um, it's more about like dimensions and like evolved, super evolved beings. So I don't know if it's inspired by Lovecraft. People may just like to say that. It's not the first time I heard it. But now that I think about it, like Lovecraft is uh, Cthulhu. Cthulhu is Lovecraft. So does Cthulhu and aliens like share similitude? Not really. Not really. Except they're aliens. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Like, Tulu is a being that will prey on your fears and, like, devour your mind and stuff like that. Highly intelligent being. Aliens are... I always thought of aliens like ants, like gigantic insects. They have a hive. They have a kind... For me, in my head, they all, like, share some kind of um, telepathic... They're all connected, like the 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 boys, the, the alien just the the predator just kicks ass. Fuck the humans. Ah no. Overeat. Oh, you can do this also. I like it. Do some kind of ah. Oh, I want to get this. It, it overeats really quickly, as I can see. Not like the, the humans one. So I think the humans might be more effective with their with their weapons. It makes sense. And this one is just a hand-to-hand -hand combat. I like the fact that there's always a weapon. <laughs> now I have two. Like, you have the weapon, it's there, and you can lose it, just pick it up. And when you play at more than one, you can see... Uh, which it says play one for 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 a weapon play two together. Still, stuff. Space was full of ether. Was referred to the monster design. Yeah, but is it full of tentacles? The aliens? Not really. You consider those things at their back tentacles? I always thought they were kind of a respiratory system, maybe. When they go in the water, it sticks out. I don't know. It's just the design. The guy who designs the thing. You. Sometimes, uh, and usually in those days, really didn't have any idea about the functionality of his design. It just looked cool. Nowadays, they uh, they work on that a lot more. Like the tongue, the the. Little thingy thing that clack. Like, does it serve any purpose? They made it. It kind of serves a purpose. Uh, this one. This is the hunter. The, the other one was a warrior. A uh, super. I think it means that I have like unlimited power or. Uh, Damn! Is this the end of the game? This is the end, and um, I'm I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> oh yeah, you can uppercut the thing. Ah, oh. I'm gonna continue with the second guy, I think.
Yeah, this one. <laughs> Boop. Oh. Mix of plants and creature. Aliens are more a uh, mix of um, organic and um, um, not cybernetics, but kind of biomechanic. They mentioned it a little bit in the first and the second game, the movies. They're kind of synthetic. From the idea that they, um, they're kind of, they're they are being manufactured, they are created, they are uh, a created species. They are not like a natural evolution or anything. But with all the movies, uh, all that kind of changed. But that's my head cannon. That's how we say it. <laughs> I heard that term like a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, head cannon. Yeah, I like that. Because that's, that's how I always, like, my headcanon for Star Wars is the, it's pretty much a Legends universe. Like Dark Forces and a couple of um, the Timothy Zan uh, books. All that stuff. Marajade, Marajade, Marajad, Marajade, that character. Always love that character. <laughs> it's mutagen. I just touch and it's I wanted to show you, but you just touch the the button and it's it skips really fast. Oh, oh yeah, I've got some. You can't run in this game. I don't think so. Oh, this one's pretty fast with the jumping. I'm not really concentrating on the game at all. I could use the weapons more effectively. I'm just realizing this game is really easy. <laughs> if I was an arcade uh, owner at the time, I would have put the, the difficulty, maybe not at the maximum, I would have tested it. Because it, if it's too frustrating, people won't put quarters in it. I'd so wish that they would, the arcades would do a comeback. Like this sort of arcade, exactly like that. Like super iris, but the cartoonish look, full, full arcades with lots of sounds and like power ups, all sorts of shit. Like they could even incorporate the. Um, the microtransaction in it. You want a better weapon with your predator? Put on a quarter in it. <laughs> I don't want that, but I mean, the possibilities are there and it's not being exploited. Kind of pisses me off. Like gaming isn't a big thing right now. No, 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 no. Not at all. Like, my prediction in the 90s was, was that gaming would become bigger than movies. I said that in the 90s. Not sure if it's it's not necessarily a thing right now, but... Uh, give it a couple of years. 
God damn, just die, bitch. I need my weapons. <laughs> die. the stream is fine if there's any problem please tell me i don't think it's it's that big of a deal because the game isn't really high graphic and a lot of moving things so What are you doing, guys? What are you waiting for? Christmas? Ah. I should do that more often. I don't really know the... there's a couple of moves you can do and if you let the arcade tell you it'll eventually go through all the moves but it's really... it takes a long time because it's like the intro, a demo of the game, like you see this little demo of the game, then one character, like three moves, and then the intro again. And then uh, you see the point, so. Uh, I'm gonna try the other one. I didn't really give it a chance. I don't really know what's the difference. Uh, this one does an uppercut when I do that, which is kind of nice, but. And his jump is pretty much the same thing. Like the predator would say that the lab is upstairs. It's out of control. Special stage. Break control box. Oh, I guess I shoot it. Ah, uh, it's a mashing button time. I do I have to go on the other side? I, I, I don't know. Perfect. Playing arcade compilation really don't hold up well when we can't just chuck when we can just chuck virtual quarters at it. I found it it's best to set a life timer of some sort for those. Yeah, if you want a challenge, I just want to finish the game, show you the game, and you do what you want. If I want to play on my own, yeah, I might do that. Definitely. If you want some challenge. But at the point I am in my like gaming yeah, gaming career, um, I've had my share of challenges and frustrating shit. And I mean, I I've seen it all. I've I've save scum. I've no clipped. I've ultra hard shit. I I and like 100 completed games. And all in all, what I like most is just just a little bit of all that, like casual gaming. I still like a little bit of a challenge. I play for fun, and no, I don't find it fun when it's too easy. What game was there? There was a problem with it, with the difficulty.
Oh. But have you beat Metroid? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's not really a... That's nothing. <laughs> that's not a hard game. Not that it's not hard, but... It's definitely a doable game. You're talking about the original, I guess. Because uh, the Super Metroid is just... Almost all Super Nintendo games, and that's what I like about them, are doable. They're not a chore. Because, like, I played Metroid, I completed Metroid multiple times. Would I want to do it again? No. Did I enjoy it doing it? The first time... The first times, maybe? The first time, sure. The other times... Uh, in retrospect, maybe not, maybe not that much. It was a hassle. The no map, the difficulty, the grinding, when you don't know what you're doing, like the first times are cool because you're exploring. This is the first time you're playing that sort of game, like the first time you're playing Metroid. I, I have difficulty remembering how it was. Like the awe feeling, the whoa man. I remember the uh, when I saw the the two thingies that went up because I killed the two bosses before and that did the bridge. I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" Uh, uh, lots of lots of parts in uh, in Zelda, like when you discover uh, that you can flame like random trees in the map and. It, Gives up stuff. I was like, "What the fuck, man!" My my head was completely blown. I was like, "Oh man, okay." And for me, that like defined me as a gamer. From then on, I would always. I'm gonna go back to this one. I would all, always expect that from a game to like give me something that I didn't expect. Like, this game won't really give me something I didn't expect, it's just a good game. But that's what I want, that's what I crave for a game, that's what will... You'll see that most of the game that I make a point of saying it's a good game, like an Acronox, um, like the Alien vs Predator 2 when I'm gonna get to it, or even No One Lives Forever. And what other games I played that I was... <laughs> like I know they're, they're not perfect games. But you have to enjoy and you have to appreciate what, they're, what they did and what they... Like XCOM, the original XCOM is just a marvel of innovation and thinking out of the box and taking concepts that existed and pushing them like at the almost at the maximum and then they they, they could took it down a bit like in the end of the 90s and even that was 94 but at the end of the 90s they Tone like down the complexity of, of games to my great dismay. I remember the first time I played Bioshock. As good as that game is, I was so so disappointed. I was I was mad, I was frustrated, I was like, what the fuck man, this is not System Shock 3. <laughs> Because I, I had seen the devs, oh, what the fuck, man, man like, uh, a rogue predator, what the fuck? I wonder if there's a Predalien in this game. That's a concept that didn't come, like, immediately, I think. What was I talking about? Shit, I lost my train of thought. Oh. 
I'm putting quarters more regularly now. But I like the fact that a couple of first levels are really manageable. And like I said, I'm not I'm not in the game at all. I'm not playing this like I would play like Contra. Well, yeah, I was talking about like what I like in games and the complexity of games. That's why I'm like sticking the in the old era of gaming and retro gamings. Like I never used to say retro games except like a couple of years ago when I realized that retro gaming was a thing. It wasn't just a fad, or maybe it is just a fad, but I mean it's for me it was just gaming. But I decided to decided to uh, get out link it, link to the past or Super Metroid or Mega Man X and play them. It was dry. I was just playing a game. But I'm getting my ass kicked here. Oh, well, I guess. Maybe I should take out Arnold for the Predator. I should have. If I die, I'm gonna do that. By the way, I have, I have one life less than. Uh, in normal play like by default it's two lives counting the one you have right now so you die once and then the second time you're gonna die you're gonna choose your character or you're gonna put in a quarter but each continue will give you three lives that's by default I was like oh that's interesting I wonder how many games I don't really uh, check those things out, so. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll take out Arnold. Oh yeah, he doesn't jump. Shit, man. Well, I, that, this is what I hate about games you have to be on the same plane. I have to use his dash, that's his... That's his thing. Like, the... The plain thing, it just kills me for most... Uh, like, for now, it wasn't a problem. That's what I like, I think, about the game. When it flows, when I just have a good time. Why can't I attack in, like... Like, in that direction? And I have to go in, like... I have to go here and then... <laughs> I have impulse bought many things in the past, like one year ago, surely for the fan service. Agreed. Oh, Goblin! Hey, Goblin! What a hassle of a game. Which game? What what hassle? Which game? What a hassle of a game. Oh, Metroid! Yeah, Metroid! Yeah, of course. The game... Oh. I'm gonna check out this. I expect a Metroid stream. Oh, you won't see it. I played Super Metroid a couple of uh, of time I stream. I didn't really uh, record it or anything. It was just me playing Super Metroid because I didn't really know. And I was testing kind of stuff and I wasn't like sure of it. Have you God mode and impulsed? Yeah, I've God mode, but what what is impulse? Impulse 9? What is Impulse 9? I remember the Doom codes like IDKFA or. Uh, that's the one I would usually use because I didn't want necessarily to be invincible, but sometimes I just didn't want to go all the way, like finding all the keys and all. But I eventually found out that I was losing. I was. Like losing all the game, all the gameplay of Doom is finding these these keys. That's the fun of it. I was a young naive little boy. Like Goblin, you won't really see me play. Like. Shitty fucking rage quit games. I might play games like Cuphead or a thing like that, but no, I won't play Metroid. And I might try out Kid Icarus because I know it's a good game, I just want to give it a try, but 
It's really hard. I might even use save state just because. Uh, back to alien, to predator. are impatient, I too use a walkthrough for exam. Missed all the fun. Impulse 9 is Quake 1 and 2, okay. I'm sure I used it on Quake 1 at least. Maybe not Quake 2, I really enjoyed Quake 2 like like a pure, pure uh, game. I love the fact that, that it was kind of a little bit story driven, more than Quake. I was really enjoying that uh, era of gaming. I'll feature that more on the channel uh, in a couple of maybe months, I guess. Oh. By the way, if you don't know, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. the channel I, I want to do more of course I don't have time or any resource or anything <laughs> and yes it will be mostly those uh, these little quick let's plays of games because I think it it just gives a quick overview of the game if you like it and I I can enjoy my time, because this is also my free time, so it's like a two-in-one for me, I'm multitasking my life. I don't play games anymore off-streams at all. This is my gaming time right here, so that's why you're seeing a lot of battle tech on the, on the channel, sorry if you don't like it. Please tell me, I, I mean... If people don't like it, I just don't... I, I, I'll i play it, I just won't stream it. But in my head, I'm like, why not? If you don't like it, just don't watch it. But I know people just unsub just because... Well, I don't give a shit. Yeah, unsub if you, want, if you want to, I don't... <laughs> if that's your thing... Oh. oh, come on, go, go, go. Ah. Ah. I, I hate those fucking things. Oh, grenades. Oh my god, what the fuck? I don't really know what how to deal with them. I mean, how do you attack on like on the on the ground? I have to really use more of my weapons sparingly. Just one shot. You have to one shot, then you attack one shot, and you'll be fine. One shot. Uh, there's a strategy in there. Unsub. Yeah, Goblin, you better unsub. Ah! Oh, the first time I did that in the game, I think. I don't really do grabs in games because usually you just have to go on like walk on the in the creature which is counterintuitive in my book <laughs> if I run if I just kiss him he's gonna kick me I like I really like the fact that the things on the ground are cans of Pepsi 
pizzas, rolls, <laughs> chicken legs and stuff like that. You pick up gems. <laughs> they took assets from other like Dungeon and Dragons game. I don't know. It it seems out of place. Like the fuck with those gems. What, what is that? Like kryptonite? Ah. Half question. I'm reading bad review from Mr. Rec Chronicles. Does it work on PC with a... Ah, it works fine? What the fuck's the problem? There, if there was a delay, I would have really been pissed. No, no, it works really, really fine. You might have to... Uh... Remember that if you see a couple of bad reviews, that doesn't mean it's bad. There's so many people out there. A game will piss people off. It's really funny because you always come up with a... Like people don't like a, a Monkey Island remake or stuff like that. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like awesome games, another one you said. I don't remember which one it was. And I was like, oh, what? People are saying it's a bad game, and you're like, no, not really bad, they're saying blah 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 blah, something else, uh, a critique about something. But I didn't have any problem with it. I mean, it was fucking awesome, it has everything. Uh, you can customize the game as you want it, as I remember it, like you can customize a little overlay, like if you're playing in a 16-9 screen. Uh, the background and additional little things that weren't in the uh, in the original uh, achievements saves uh, yeah it's uh, it's it's really an upgrade uh, to the game what you might have to do is configure your controller Maybe with a third-party program, but I don't think so. I'm no, I don't think so. I did it all in the game. I use it's a PS3 controller I'm using, but it, it's 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 essentially like I, if I'm plugging an Xbox controller on Windows, it sees this as, as an Xbox controller. So that might be the thing. You might have to need an Xbox DirectX compatible controller. Oh, I think it was this game that, if you go, if you launch the game, yeah, I think that's the thing, I think that's the problem. If you launch the game and you use the, the keyboard, it's gonna use the keyboard. You know what I mean? If you press enter, like on the title screen, uh, it's gonna tell you, it's gonna tell you the prompts with the, with the keyboards at the bottom of the screen. And everything will be keyboard centric. But if you just pick up your controller and use a controller, it'll be fine. If I remember correctly, it's been like about six months, um, way more than maybe a year that I played it. And I played it completely both, so uh, I know what I'm talking about. It was fine, so. Yeah. I, there was, I, I, I have seen bad reviews of that. But what I usually do when I see bad reviews is, I check all the reviews and... I guess I'm pretty good at, like, reading between the lines because sometimes I even read bad reviews, but for me they're good reviews. Or good reviews, that for me when I read it, I'm like, oh, oh, I won't like that game. But for, the guy was like, oh, it's awesome because of this, this, this. And I was like, no, I won't like it because of this, this, and this. You just have to read what the guy is explaining about the game. And... 
just realize what you like. Is it what you like? Is it is it your thing? Like what I expect from a reviewer is not necessarily to be completely objective, is to be knowledgeable, not saying things like par rapport that, that, that there's no reason to say, or not uh, not telling the whole story, not, not focusing on some negative aspects that are clearly there. Um, I guess that's being objective. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sure you understand what I mean. You know, English is my second language, it's not my primary language, and I'm playing a game that requires a mild, a mild concentration, and I'm looking at the chat at the same time, which I haven't been for a while. God damn it. This is getting really difficult. The, the um, difficulty curve on this game is... Like, you don't want it to overeat that, but that weapon you have, you really don't want it to overeat. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, I didn't even need that, those Pepsi cans. I just can imagine that Predator taking the pizza slice. Like when I started the game, uh, the first time I tested it to see if it worked. First uh, first thing I saw as a, as a health item was a pizza and I was like, pizza time. Oh. I suck. Oh, and by the way, uh, the comment you were making about the coins, um, about, yeah, you can put as many coins. Remember that those games were meant to be played like that. So if you're, you're saying, ah, I just put like three quarters in them, well, there's a reason those games are challenging. They wanted it to be a challenge and wanted to people to die and put coins in them. That was part of the thing. That was part of the appeal of the arcades. So I understand the wanting to do a challenge, but essentially the game wasn't even meant to be played like that. It's more it's meant to be played with like infinite continues. It's it's an arcade game. It's meant to just have fun. It's not a game that you're playing at home and you're putting putting like time in it, you have to learn strategies. Usually in those games, um, there's a lot less of pattern recognition, strategy involves, uh, because they know that you won't... People will not put 20 hours into this game. Most people will just put one or two hours in their lifetime. It's a whole different thing. That doesn't exist anymore. Like try to try to play uh, uh, Mistala without uh, without dying, man. Come on, that game is fuck. It's the second one is it's huge. It takes it took me hours. Like it's not it's not like this game that I think I'm. Oh my god, I am an hour in and I'm not finished. So this is a pretty long game. For an arcade game. But this is about the time uh, of, um, of the Dungeon and Dragon game, which I think is Capcom. I'm not sure. 
Oh, by the way, uh, my favorite beat em up is definitely uh, the Dungeons and Dragons game, but yeah, this would be a close second. And are there. <sighs> now, now I just suck. Are there really beat em ups? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of stuff in those games, like multiple paths, items. Um, you can play up to four, and I would highly recommend playing multiplayer. Another, they get they, this game. You, they were not meant to be played alone. I think there's a multiplayer uh, uh, aspect. Online multiplayer. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's online multiplayer. And couch multiplayer. It's at least couch multiplayer uh, on Steam. Who cares about the aliens? Half thousand more back at the base. You can fight them all. Give up all we can. I will kill you, motherfucker. I hope this is not the end because I don't want this guy to be the end boss. Come on. This is... Oh, I can't even. He's not. He's part of the of the background. I can shoot as much as I want when it's uh, counting down like that. I should use that more. A lot of things I, I didn't use. Same thing is true with Dungeon and Dragons. That's a game that you kind of... It's weird because it's an arcade game, but that game is almost meant to be played um, like on a couch at home and putting time in it and knowing um, which magic is good against with enemies? It's it's Dungeons and Dragons. It's literally Dungeons and Dragons. If a if a monster in Dungeons and Dragons is immune to fire, you can bet your ass it's immune to fire in the arcade game. So I was really impressed about with, with all that. It's like first edition. It's really basic Dungeons and Dragons, but it's still it's Dungeons, right? The, the it's all there. The potions and the things and the... What? Oh, yeah, I didn't want to kill you. you nah, I don't care about you guy. Fuck that. Yeah, alien. She survived. But that's the queen from the beginning? As I was talking with you, but I still let the story unfold. I'll have to rewatch my playthrough to understand what the fuck is going on. It's not really important, I think. You think, guys, it's important to know what I'm doing? Super! Ah, stop shooting on the ground, fuck you! What the fuck? Oh! I'll take that turkey, thank you! Maybe not. Spam that shit! That's what you have to do, you don't have. I don't have any choice. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Did you see that? That's a lot of life. Yeah, whatever. Super. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Just walking casually. Like this game, three players. Ah, oh, I would so like to do that. It's definitely possible, by the way. Uh, it's all uh, you could have like two controllers. Just download Mame. I'm using Mame UI 64. 
Ah, I can put my name in. And wow, we made it. My sensors show no remaining aliens on Earth. There's no Earth anymore. Here, take this. You fought well. Wait, why did you help us? And we kill you. <laughs> you will know. See you soon. Like, we're all buddy buddy. I hate the fact that like in almost every instances of alien versus predator predator and humans like to be buddy buddies and it just doesn't work in my head it just doesn't work <laughs> against the prospect that aliens will spread all over north america with lightning speed all of them were miraculously annihilated due to the explosion of the nuclear fusion furnace caused by a crash of the spaceship blah 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 Game over. Uh, of course, I put like five bucks in that. Oh, a lot more than that, I think. If you wanted to see all the game, they wanted you to pay for the game. <laughs> so yeah, you would put ten bucks in it if you wanted to see them. Capcom, Capcom Arcade beat em ups at notoriously long kind of Dragon is 20 freaking state. Oh, King of Dragons, yeah. Um, what's that game I played? It had like 50 levels. Uh, pff, I don't remember. It was Capcom, I think. Le yeah, but long being long for no reason, that's not fun. But this was long, and the, 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 the levels are different. They are different. The only thing I kind of misses that there was a second level that was a little different that we were on that APC shooting at things um, they should have done more of that or something like that but different like on an helicopter or kind of maybe like first person kind of thing like they did in the aliens arcade and there were alien like coming at you and you were like running on a rail like not running but on a kind of cart running on the rail so yeah I'm gonna close out the stream I'm gonna continue with some battle tech <laughs> because like I said this is my free time so I'm gonna play some battle tech please give me a like share comment tell me what you think about this game have you played it when is when it came out uh, what's your favorite character uh, was there a move that I really missed that I was really uh, I should have done like they're gonna show the moves now I think yeah like that was a move I didn't do that ah oh, against the fucking uh, snake things that would have helped Th that you have to do a grab jump and attack I I really didn't use the jump that much except for like uh, dashing across the, the screen because it was really useful but as you can see uh, two players is a lot more manageable and I would just imagine three players yeah you can have those at the top you can see only two uh, players um, but if I set it up to have three players uh, you'll see it because you can go into the service mode and like uh, if you have the arcade at home, you have access to this thing. Um, and you can go into configuration, like system, and demo sound I usually put on for the stream because I find it interesting to have the sound in the intro and all those stuff because there's no sound. If you put it, by default, it's on off. Um, continue can turn off the continues shit. Like one coin, one credit, and you can change that as you want. <laughs> Free play. I didn't put free play because I don't like having the free play flashing because I don't I find it more nostalgic to have the insert coin flashing. <laughs> if I could remove the flashing, I would just remove it. But uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, that's the difficulty. 
Was that what I wanted to show you? Whatever, I am rambling as always. Uh, get this. You can test all sorts of stuff here. Oh, the three players thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look, look. Uh, system. Yeah, player mode. Like three player, three shoots. So that means there were three places for coins, each with one. But you can only you can put it with one shoot. So you have three player, but there's only one place to put coins, and that's a little weird. I would only do that if you're at home because, <laughs> I mean, people. <laughs> You don't want the other player to take your coins. Well, I guess if you just put it in, start it, and not... Because when I played those games uh, back in the day, I would... Uh, like, I had maybe five bucks. I would just go in the game and put my quarters in uh, as soon as I get on the machine. I would get on the machine. Choo, 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 choo. So... I would have the assholes, oh, continue! Like, they give you a lot of time in this game. There's like 30 seconds, so that's fine. And once you put a quarter in, the, the, the timer goes back to 30, so it's fine. Um, so if it's uh, 50 cents, you put one, two quarters. So you put one, it goes back to 30, so if in uh, the last minute. But in the 80s or... This is 94, so I don't know, maybe even in those days, there were like 10 seconds timers and it would go quick. And some games, if you touch the controls uh, and you don't have any quarters in and it's counting down, if you touch the controls, it would count down really fast, like... Like it means, for the machine, it means like the guy just ran out and another, play another just player stepped in and they just want to like flush the other games and just start anew so just jiggle the handle push a couple of buttons and continue the 5 to one poop go back put the quarters in and go back in a fresh game yeah so uh, i stream pretty much every day 8 p.m eastern time twice a week mondays and wednesday i play a different game so it might be an arcade game a pc game snes genesis i play all sorts of games check my uh, youtube channel uh, for the kind of game i play Everything is uploaded back to YouTube with a little, little editing, just a little bit if there's any problems, cut the, the, the fat at the beginning, the end of the stream, but uh, it's pretty much integral stream with a little bit more quality, uh, adjusting the sound if there's any problem. Um, but I stream on Mixer, Twitch and uh, YouTube, like I said, 8 p.m. pretty much every day. If it's not Mondays or Wednesday, uh, I play other games. Um, that I can I'm continuing one of those games or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's it. You can follow me on Facebook, uh, uh, Twitter, and uh, Discord. Check the description for the details. Remember to have fun, guys. 